Hey guys, this is my Warhammer Total War 3 review. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot to do, a lot to cover. I am going to be covering Immortal Empires. You'll know what I mean after uh, you watch the review. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, we're going to move right on to uh, hopefully Horizon and Elden Ring reviews next. I know there's a bunch of games coming out in March as well. We're doing our best to catch up. Uh, if you want to show support, uh, click the links down below. A Patreon would really help. Forms the backbone of the angry army the mobile infantry thank you so much for your support guys and i hope you enjoy the video check it out total war is back and evo joe finally gets his time to shine <laughs> it's blood for the blood god soul for the soul throne as I crush my enemies and run the rivers red, painting the landscape with their entrails. And the best part is that my brothers in arms can join me on the battlefield. <laughs> because together we will conquer the entire old world and revel in the glory of battle. <laughs> right? Multiplayer is so fun! Unraveling them into opportunity. But opportunity for whom? Blood for the blood god! That's who. This is the first time I have really been able to come at to Total War from a multiplayer focus. Sharing mass battles with my friends. Can you just kill him? Right. He'll come back if you don't kill him. Sure. Well, Everyone you're not going to be able to kill him. He's got Get back here. Piece of shit. <laughs> Everyone, come 240. on. 240. One more hit from you, Joe. You did one that Yeah! <laughs> Good job. Take that. Oh, dragon. Cool ass animation of him dying. Right, Good job, Joe. Battle. And from that angle... Total Warhammer 3 is fucking excellent! I thought I saw some corn guys in there. Well, we fucking wrecked them, so that's good. Woo! Can't believe we did it. All right, that was the big chungus, too. Ah. 17... Shit, 1,600 boy. units dead. Yeah. The betrayals, uh, the epic victories, the close defeats. Or if it gives us one last turn. Oh! Oh! There we fucking. Oh. I like this timeline thing where you can see uh, sort of factions and things happening on the map, but nothing ever changed hands because we kept trying to whack them and we could not whack. Oh! Something changed hands right there. I stole a city from them. Yeah. Right at the end. Woo wee! And that was on normal, normal. So, I like. It is so much fun trying to take down that bullshit hard AI with your friends declaring war or going human on human without even having to worry about the AI at all. We're fighting a bad guy. Okay, let's watch Alex. Can, can I play as them? Oh, look at this. Take control. Joe, you take control of one. I'll take control of the other. Kill these foul beasts, Joe. Alex, why are you so quiet? I'm fighting two versus one. <laughs> yeah. so this is truly how it has always been meant to be played with the new better simultaneous turns and eight player fucking co-op. It's brilliant. Boom. You're in range. Whoa, that's so cool. This is the first time we're doing 
the battle where it's like, okay, it's me and Joe. Me and Joe, right? Sweet. Are you taking control? <laughs> well, you have your control. <laughs> I have my control. Are you gonna and this is for all the marbles because this is their capital. Alex will be able to steamroll no, that one force in the north. It just says victory, casualty low if we do auto. Yeah, so we you just, you're crushing it. You this is what you couldn't get with the previous games in the series. Go out and buy this game. It gets a badass seal of approval. As for the score, let's wait a bit. <laughs> Even if you've never played the series before, it is worth the investment. It's not yet perfect, but I feel it will get there soon. As you can clearly tell, the Total War series for me, is one of my favorite strategy games ever. There is just nothing quite like the initial clash of armies, as we often see in the movies, and you get to set these up and hand build them yourself. Uh oh. Yee -hee -hee -hee. Glorious battle! Now my legions feast! <laughs> there comes that fucking chariot thing that likes to do fucking. Sick drifts and wheelies and shit. I love it. It does a neat 360 before it fires. And with the added layer of the rich lore of the Warhammer universe, it makes for an absolute blast to watch play out in the most unique and creative animations and units that the Total War games have ever seen. Holy what shit, the what the fuck? fuck? He did a special maneuver. The fucking corn. Demons! That way, look at these corn guns. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, we got him. He also like exploded Where? a whole bunch of your men. Jesus Christ. Goddamn demons. Total War is essentially two parts. Your campaign map, where you manage your cities, economy, army, diplomacy, your empire, right? Individual lords and heroes, and then the real-time battle. Oh, retreat! <laughs> oh, you didn't see that! Nobody saw it! It's all I'm testing my forces! Oh shit. Alright, fucking everybody oh, shit. in! Archers! I'm gonna rush you down, boy. Yes! 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 Carnage! What are you assholes doing? I'm sleeping on the job. Stop sleeping on the job! <laughs> where you engage in open field war, sieges, walls, ambushes, and quest battles with other factions in the game. Warhammer Total War 3 is the culmination and pinnacle of a three game trilogy series over six plus years of Warhammer games, as well as 22 years of Total War games as a whole. And it adds and refines something new to every aspect of the game. And with this latest one, the world finally sees the arrival of the Chaos God Forces! <laughs> Nurgle with his gross but resilient plague forces. Rejoice in proliferation! Yeah! The gifts of Nurgle. Horn with the skulls for the skull throne! Skulls for the skull throne! Slanesh with their sexy titties and pecs and crab pincers and sex! Nakari awaits in thinly veiled anticipation, for fresh sensation and succulent war are aching to be experienced. I'm a little out of control, it's all like IS titties, IS IS and titties, IS titties, IS IS and titties. Dicks. What? Nothing is more important than the taste of ecstasy in its purest form. Oh, terms of service! <laughs> And Zinch with the spells and his spam bullshit. Chaos descends upon the battlefield as all semblance of orderly combat is lost to a vicious fray of bloodlust and magic. 
so many unique factions that I never even expected who lore nuts like me really appreciate to see fleshed out like Kislev with the polar bears and ice magic. Cathay, we've never seen them before. Dragons and sentinels. No doubt fleshed out in part to the success of Total War Three Kingdoms. Vanquish chaos with the sheer power of the dragon. Let them face the majesty. Of you can even pick Chaos Undivided, which continues directly from the prologue and allows you to customize your very own Demon Lord. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. These demon legs. Oh my god, it actually changes shit on this. What I've been hoping for and asking for for a while. Let's get some charging horns. Sweet. Right arm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. And his army for chaos, however you like it. Whoever in this common slaughter. And my surprise favorite, the always hungry thick boys, the ogres, with Nablar support. In some of the most fun mix of uh, cool, monstrous infantry, kitty cats, and, well, monsters. And with these eight total factions, all have just not one, but multiple unique flavorful mechanics and styles of play, more so than any previous Total War game pre-DLC. It is clearly packed with insane value. It's like there's eight freaking games in one. More if you count the three unique co-op campaigns, the individual quest battles, the ranked multiplayer matches, and of course the classic skirmishes, in which I got my ass kicked. Uh, oh, they both sandwiched me, but a long time ago. What? Yeah. Yeah. I think this is dead? Yeah, I, yes. I, I was fighting zero. No! AI. I need you guys to win. I spent all my points on y'all. And Zero cheated too because he's a scumbag. How? How the fuck is this? <laughs> he knew I was taking Nurgle, so he took literally nothing but archers. Fuck! Valiant defeat. How dare you? No! Oh. Good job, Zero. Thank you. Fuck you, OJ. <laughs> Well, you still is each mass. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of hours of gameplay await you between all of these offerings, making each of these games insta buys for me. But what this is doing is it's teaching me how to properly play multiplayer, how to properly play the game, period. Gotta use those spells. So my longest angry review was on Rome Total War 2, where I delved out some tough love to Creative Assembly. You done fucked it up! On a game with unacceptably broken AI, incompetent siege battles, and awful campaign behavior. We have invested more resources into improving the battlefield AI than I think we have in any Total War game to date. 
So the result is a new AI system. Ever since then, Creative Assembly has improved and reiterated on the game mechanics. However, there are just unfortunately a few nagging things that prevent my brutally honest and stingy ass from finally giving Warhammer Total War a 10 out of 10, right? It's mostly performance issues and the Chaos Realms campaign mechanic itself as well as some nagging things here and there, like an overabundance of settlement battles with that new mechanic. It kind of holds back the game, though most of which can be simply fixed, patched, or modded later. But let's get first to the really good stuff. This game has the best introduction slash tutorial slash prologue the series has ever had. Would probably normally skip this and so would Joe, but that is exactly <laughs> why I'm going to play it. Are you ready to hunt for the lost god? This is why you can buy, even if you aren't normally into these games. Now is the perfect time, and it's never been easier to learn because of this mode. It's got a compelling story that's sort of a prequel to the events of the main campaign, and the fantastic voice acting and art cutscenes combined with it teaching you the game mechanics one by one in a natural manner make it the most accessible yet for new players. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good tutorial campaign. This is working right. The storehouse is ready. The supplies are safe. At least that's until the Chaos Realm campaign punches you in the dick. The enemy have the encircled your city, my lord. Oh. Send a force to aid the city defenders. Mission. Wait, I just got hit by two? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? How did you get around me? What? I'm being assaulted from all directions. Are you kidding me? Not possible. Motherfucker. Dude, this, this campaign's fucking hard. That's hard. I just got hit with three full stacks. And I'm in turn... Five. Even tricking you, saying that it recommends you start with Chaos Undivided or Kislev, which actually have some of the most harder, most unrelenting campaign okay, the starts the out there. there. Well, we punched him in the mouth. Close defeat. But goddamn this game, it's so top tier. The voice acting, we even get some general speeches that I've always loved from the Total War series. Only you have to zoom in really close to the general to hear him. You know why we're here. Meat, loot, it all belongs to us. Greasus Goldtooth has never lost a fight and I don't intend to start now. Work up an appetite, boys. We got quite a feast ahead of us! <laughs> All eight of the factions are fun as hell to play. If, even if the four demon factions feel a bit too light on the unit variety and roster, no doubt awaiting DLC to flesh them out a bit more. An actual graphic representation. I don't know how extensive work that would have took, but I need to see. Part of the reason why you know I pick factions is how cool their units are, yeah, right? That's what I do. Everybody too. does that, so <laughs> yeah. it, it would be nice to see because this little unit right. arc. So their units better be fucking high power. Where's my Nurgle guy? Left side, left side, So again, low count there? of units, but hopefully Ooh, they'll be. We got the great and clean great one. Is Rodigus in there? Rodigus is right there too. To but it's just that the animations, the graphics, the new lighting effects, shadows. The maps and biomes themselves are a sight to behold. It really brings the lore and world to life. The character models look fantastic. Just look at the cute nerdlings for proof of the detail. The 
chaos realms of individual gods are fun to see. It would have been nice to get some new unique terrain hazards and effects out of it, but right now it's mostly for show. But seeing all this stuff that has only been talked about in the books and the lore is so satisfying for a Warhammer player like myself. Improvements to the UI are across the board, even if it is red, very red. New character menus are fantastic for easily equipping stuff that they get over time easy. The dreaded but necessary for longer campaigns, the auto resolve now shows you exactly what you will lose via red highlights. Red. Oh shit, here they come. Um, casualties, I. Everybody's dead. Or I fight. <laughs> Let's fight. Yes, I'm liking the game very much. Hero portraits, unit banners get the little ZZs, help, helpfully telling you which units uh, you haven't given orders to or which units have suddenly become idiots that you need to micromanage. And there's a ton of options that you can customize the way you want for how you play. It is so much appreciated and it's a culmination of the entire series. It's never been better. Total War Warhammer 3 are evolving. Kicking this box means that a soon as you select a spell or ability to cast, the game will automatically enter half play speed. Once your spell is cast, you'll return to normal speed. We have now got improved foliage culling distance, which allows better visibility in heavily forested areas and maps. New occlusion outlines highlight units that are behind objects with a colored outline making it easier to see units that are partially out of sight, especially in tight streets or dense forests. Diplomacy has never been easier before, with indicators on how to get things done in one button to, and how to work out deals. You can just say, make this work, and they'll figure out who wants to work with you. It's awesome. Allies have this new thing called coordination, free garrisons and allegiances. They, they can give you their units and put them in your army. You, hell, you can even straight up control their armies at one point. It's so odd for a game <laughs> that it's about ravaging the world with chaos that the diplomacy is, is the best it's ever been, but I guess that's for the eventual Immortal Empires. There's one thing that most of us can get on board with. Our excitement for the combined campaign, because it's the final act, the culmination of years of hard work and content, all merged into one glorious map. Behold, Immortal Empires in all its majesty. A world-spanning global campaign stretching from Nagaroth and Lustria in the west to Ind and the hinterlands of Koresh in the east. And those eight-player campaigns, it's just evil grinning fun as you take over your opponent's AI and, and, and fuck them over on the battlefield like OJ and Alex did to me. Or you can join forces and have them gift you a few units here and there so you can Yo, beat can up you on the enemy the together. Yo, these are forces over here? You're gonna go all the way around? Those okay. Are the they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. You see, that's the broad joke, god damn it! Sire, I asked that sub commander to, to join us 40 minutes ago! <laughs> and he was too busy slaughtering <laughs> shaken and broken units. I was sending a message. Or in OJ's case, fuck around and get us surrounded and killed. What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh fuck, what the fuck is this? Why am I the only general on the battlefield that notices the goddamn reinforcements? The biggest fucking Nurgle tanks and... I'm fucked. I'm fucking dead. Hold! <laughs> That's all you have to say to that, Joe? Hold? Joe, you haven't even catch your one point. Well, they're fucking slow, what do you want me to do? <laughs> The AI seems smarter than in Rome Total War way back in the day too, and actually surprised me at times. What the hell is going on? The motherfuckers built the fortification. They trapped us inside? Is this a, that's some smart AI? Get the fuck out of here, you crit. Are you serious? Did the AI do that? And now, Oh, oh shit. Good. 
I have never seen AI do something smart like that in a long time in Total War. That, you just fucked my unit there. And now he's slamming into it with all of his might. That's not to say it's perfect. It can still do some pretty stupid shit. Pathfinding, AI settlement battles, some combat unit animations against each other are a little awkward when they bunch up, but I'd say it is much improved over time and has uh, a bit more to go, uh, especially on higher difficulties, but you know, you'll get that challenge that you're looking for eventually. I do think that the siege rework from Warhammer 2 to Warhammer 3 has worked overall mostly. It's got this new multi-capture point settlement battles. Uh, they look great and they're themed and designed for each faction with individual cities. It, it just looks awesome. And then enemy visibility, we can't see them. They're hiding. There's a tornado on the left. Holy shit. <laughs> like a shark nato you can create stuff like towers and and barriers with a supply system but frankly they can get a little bit tedious when you play a lot like they're just like these little pack command battles that that take a long time and uh, i just wish there were more awesome open field battles maybe they need to reduce these from maybe just tier two or tier three settlements uh, but, you know, because sometimes the AI gets a little messy uh, and it's hard to get them to uh, competently perform consistently. Is this their last... Is, it, is this their only home? Here. This is their last point. Maybe so. this is... Oh, there's a few guys that are hidden by Fog of War. And finally, not enough is said about this game's fucking audio. It is fantastic. As you sweep across the battlefield, you hear so much goodness happening. I was so ready to give this game a 9 or a 10, but there were some cons that I discovered after longer play. The biggest being how the single player campaign, that narrative, the Chaos Realms mechanic, it completely ruins the pacing of the campaign for me. Basically, <clears throat> at a certain point in the game, relatively early on too, uh, the Chaos Gates start opening up and you can travel into the four realms of the Chaos Gods and capture souls and new like survival battles that I'm not sure I like. You get four souls and you can finally move on to a final battle to win the campaign story. That's all fine, right, and well, but the issue is how Creative Assembly has allowed all the other factions in the map the ability to do the same fucking thing at the same fucking time. Even though none of them are supposed to be able to cross the maelstrom to do so. So it turns into a fucking race. It completely ruins the pacing of the game because if you don't do it exactly like this, and if you don't do it perfectly in min-max at that moment on harder difficulties, you are gonna fucking lose to another far off faction doing all their shit before you do yours. I hate timers. They almost always ruin my enjoyment of running a campaign at my own pace and conquering the map. Worse is that so much of these Chaos Realm mechanics are hell-bent on taking away your movement and delaying your armies and so you just feel like much of the time is fucking wasted not being able to immediately move your armies. Luckily, you can teleport across the map and shit like that, but it's, it's, it's really hard at higher difficulties where you're only able to afford precious few stacks to engage in these races while simultaneously holding back chaos armies from 
from the from the coming through the ribs and and or paying to close them. Oh, while well, your opponents raid you and chaos corruption spreads across the land and your heroes get negative traits for going into those ribs. It fucking overwhelms you and, and it's frustrating. You can complete it maybe about 100 turn 150 or so, but I just hate being forced to play this narrative and doing the race. The plot itself, yes, it is much better than in Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2, really. And it's not like seeing the end of the factions campaigns is that rewarding. The endings are honestly a bit disappointing, mostly with the same one or two pieces of art. I was hoping for a bit more. What? It's certainly stories like Cathay, they just feel unfinished or purely setting up DLC Lord campaigns or something. I don't know. Speaking of DLC, it is now time to talk about something I've been meaning to talk about. The bullshit blood DLC. That's right. In a game where demons are eviscerating people, vomiting and shitting diarrhea everywhere, CA continues the practice of having us pay money to see blood. In a game where blood is literally flowing in the background and corn is fucking present. Blood for the blood! Oh, oh wait, uh, not yet, I, I gotta pay. I gotta pay first. Fuck, fuck that. And the argument about the ESARB and historical games might work for that, but and it's just that the game's older demographic, the target demographic for this game, and the subject material here, it's just bad optics. It should already, it should already come with the game, and, and they should raise the ESRB, or just do it for free since there's already fucking blood in the game. You just want to piecemeal it out and sell it to us. This practice needs to stop with this game. Stop it. Blood for the blood god. You done fucked it up! Finally, we gotta talk about the game's performance issues. Unnecessary frame drop. Hard crashes. All right, Joe, what are we doing? Not even letting me pull it up. Uh, can you do an alt control delete? <laughs> you did. I did. I can't save. Joe is uh, hard crashed somehow. All right. Serious bugs like the supply chain bug. If you disband a lord, his upkeep multiplier is still there, hidden, making everything cost more, which ruins harder playthroughs. So you're saying this one should cost 346. Tyrant and then uh, I'm gonna disband him. 353. $52. Shit. How does that get through QA? Some odd cavalry charge ineffectiveness going on? I even loaded up Warhammer 2 just to check its performance in comparison. Yup, runs smoother. I'm noticing that the Warhammer Total War 2 runs smoother. It's smoother on my end. I don't know if it looks smoother on, on your end, does it? So buttery smooth for me. These things will likely be patched out over time, but it's still stuff that holds back the game from the legendary rating it's clearly capable of. If you're still on the fence, Try it out on Game Pass as it's on that service. Only be warned, you won't be able probably to play the better version of game, the Immortal Empires, uh, uh, the thing I keep talking about, unless they do something to address that. Otherwise, there's just some minor other stuff to mention. Annoying things like friend codes, this invite system, instead of just inviting people like normal to a game, it's annoying. Hold on, is this the right code? You, you give me the right code? I give you the right code. <laughs> it's just, and withdrawing not seeming to work very well on the battlefield. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, which one is it? It's the button that's furthest to the right at the bottom. Like so look, sometimes all of the, the withdrawal button goes away because they're stuck. My warriors are rallying. It's like I didn't ask you to, you fucking idiots. It doesn't yeah, they quite work very well. Small text everywhere from my old character Conus eyes. 
but most of that can be forgiven and you can patch it out. And when you get to revel in the animation glory of these mass final battles, everything feels much better. Even with all of its problems, <clears throat> I think, as a base game, this is the best Warhammer Total War that we've seen. And with the Immortal Empire's free update for customers of the previous games in the trilogy that I am obsessing over in this review, that lets you play 22 plus different races, over 80 plus different lords and over 70 different factions. My God, I will be missing an action from my friends or family for weeks. That's gonna be awesome. But the final verdict for the game in its current form though, is the highest I can literally give while forgiving a lot at an eight out of 10. It's multiplayer really held things up for me, along with the improvements across the board. If not for the Chaos Realm mechanic and its performance issues at release, I think it easily could have hit a nine or a 10, but that'll likely have to wait for that granddaddy update, the true final form of this Warhammer Total War journey, Immortal Empires. No longer! I am the God Slayer! And you can bet your ass to do it, Joe! We'll conquer all of the immortal empires! All races will fall before me! I will crush their bones! Demon Joe is the true fifth chaos god! I am the true god of anger! Corn is like a choir boy compared to me! So I just came to apologize for what happened back there. Alex and I feel very bad about that. You mean betraying me? Yes, yeah, something like that. What about me and you team up? We could conquer the world. I don't think so, Joe. Okay, will this convince you? Seduce! Doing anything for you? Nope, with my eyes. Nope. No, Joe, you're weak with that spells! Does nothing! One more, one more. What about blissful rupture? What is Blissful Rupture? Oh, yes! Slender's Rammer! Oh, it hurts! Oh, it hurts so good! Oh!